Hey guys, this is Hydra from Edge Trades, and in this video, we'll go over um, how the market did last week, and what are the next uh, or what are the best setups for the upcoming week. So, as usual, we'll start off with the indices. Start off with the SPY and QQQ. Um, so, SPY uh, did have a down week this week, but um, as I said last week, it's there's a very high chance that we could just consolidate here for a little bit, wait for um, price to catch up to the trend line and just consolidate, tighten up, tighten up, and then we can see a big move up or down here. So, um, so far that is playing out pretty well. And, um, you know, overall this week was a pretty good consolidation week. We tested that 444 support level, but we did bounce off that pretty well. Um, let's take a look at the daily chart. So on Thursday, we did gap down, but we were able to, um, close the day strong. So that was good action. And on Friday, we tried to get a little bounce, but um we, we we yeah it wasn't a very successful bounce we tried to bounce but we mostly rejected um but yeah that's pretty much how the week went um monday tuesday or monday tuesday wednesday was pretty bearish as well but yeah overall that 444 support level is still holding so that's a good thing um so yeah key support right now is 444 key resistance 453 those are the key levels that you need to know for um spy Next up, we'll take a look at QQQ. So QQQ, same thing. Uh, key level of support is 369 and key resistance is 382. And so far, it's just, again, stuck in that range, right? So just there's a good chance that we're just going to tighten up, tighten up, and then potentially make a big breakout or even make a break breakdown. Either way, we'll see a big move coming up in the upcoming weeks. Well, let's take a look at the weekly chart. On the weekly chart, QQQ looks really good. It's holding this uh, long-term trend line. Um, and it just looks like a consolidation bar here. So overall, very good action. As long as that 369 level holds, I'm going to continue to be bullish on the market. But um, yeah, I'll be very quick to switch if that 369 level does not hold. And yeah, if we break that 382 level, then I'll be even more bullish. But overall, very good action on the indices. Just a consolidation week. And yeah, nothing to be worried about. Now let's take a look at um, big cap tech stocks. First up being Apple. Apple had a pretty bearish week. Um, let's take a look at the daily chart. So yeah, really bad gap down on uh, Thursday, but it did it did form a hammer and it actually closed really strong. Tried to reclaim that 177 level and tried to get a stronger bounce on uh, or on Friday, but unsuccessful so there is a pretty big gap here now so we'll see if that 181 level can get filled but um as long as that 172 level hold, or 177 level holds um apple's still in good shape um but yeah that 172 level is very key if, if apple loses that then it could see a really big pullback but overall apple looks okay um as long as that 177 hold level holds it looks okay but to be very or bullish on it again, it has to reclaim the 181 level ASAP. Um, next up, AMD. So AMD is continuing to form this bull flag here. I think we can remove this trend line or this price level now. Doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, this is the key thing on AMD. It's been forming a really long bull flag here for almost uh, four months, five months almost. But um, yeah, it still looks okay here. And for a breakout, you want to see that 110 level get taken out. Um, it tried to break out this week, but rejected. But if it can take out the 109, 110 level, then there's a chance that AMD can start making its next leg up. Um, next up, Amazon. So Amazon's acting really well here. Just forming a bull flag here. And it looks ready to break out any day now. Um, yeah, overall, really good action. Really strong move up this year, consolidated, broke out. Now it's consolidating again, forming a bull flag, but potentially getting ready to break out. But next, the uh, resistance level is 143.5. That's the key level for Amazon. Next up, we'll take a look at Google. So Google, same thing. Really strong move this year. Very nice bull flag, broke out. And then it consolidated between this range for a while, broke out, and made a bull flag here, and then broke out. And uh, yeah, Google's been acting really well here. 
Um, key resistance level is 136, but it did close. It did manage to close above that this week. So um, next uh, next support level is 144. Take a look at the daily chart. Yeah, 144 is the next level of support. Um, I mean next level of resistance. So yeah, Google does have room all the way up there. Overall, Google is acting really, really well, and uh, yeah, very bullish on Google. Next up, we'll take a look at Meta. So Meta did lose that key um, long-term trend line, um, but if it can reclaim 306, then it would look pretty good. Um, yeah, overall, it's acting pretty well. This week, it basically just closed flat. Didn't do too much, just chopped around, but that 306 is definitely a key resistance level. So if it can take that out, then I would be bullish on Meta. Until then, I, would be, I wouldn't touch this. Uh, if anything, it looks a little bit bearish. Looks like a potential bear flag, but um, yeah, if that 306 level gets taken out, then I'll be back to bullish on Meta. Um, next up, Microsoft. So Microsoft had an incredible run this year, then pulled back, made our made all time highs, and then pulled back in pretty hard, and now it's uh, rebounding pretty well the last uh, three weeks. Let's take a look at the daily chart. Yeah, it's just a slow grind up, so yeah, not much. To really say for microsoft uh key resistance level is at that 344 level and then key support is at that 324 level those are the key levels for microsoft um but yeah that's pretty much it next up netflix so netflix is trying to break that 450 level 448 level again um tried to break out but close below that so another failed breakout but overall on the daily chart it actually looks really really nice um very nice bull flag forming here and if it can take out the highs on friday 446 there's a very good chance that this could break out um but yeah netflix is looking very good and i think there's one play for uh, for the big cap tech stocks netflix would be top choice for me um very nice bull flag forming on the daily chart next up we'll take a look at nvidia so the weekly so from the earnings gap up, it did hit 502, and then last week, or last last week, it did almost hit that 500 level and then rejected, and then this week it's forming an inside bar. So it's actually forming a flag here, and uh, potentially one or two more weeks of consolidation, and then it could see a big move. Overall, Nvidia is the king of the market still, and it's acting really really well. Um, this week it did pull back really hard, but overall this is still the top stock of the market for now um on the daily chart on thursday gap down but close strong and friday was a pretty weak day but um yeah overall i think nvidia just needs a couple more weeks to consolidate because really had such a uh, really big game this year right so um it would be healthy for it to consolidate its gains and just let it rest for a little bit but yeah, nvidia is acting fine Next up, Tesla. So Tesla is um, has a key resistance level at that 259 level. So until it takes that out, then uh, not much to do, right? So Tesla is actually forming a bull flag here. It's a pretty nice bull flag. Tried to break out on Friday, but rejected. And uh, we'll see if it can try to take it out again sometime next week. But overall, Tesla does look pretty good, but uh, you want to see that 259 level get taken out for um, more upside potential. But overall, Tesla does look fine. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for all the big caps. Now let's take a look at how growth stocks are doing. Let's take a look at ARKK. Um, yeah, very clear resistance at that 44.5 level here. Let's take a look at the daily chart. Does look uh, pretty good here though, right? So really strong move on uh, last week on A29. And then this week it was pretty much just consolidating um, the entire week. But if we can take out that 44.5 level, I think there's a very good chance that we could see a bigger rally all the way back up to 51. But overall, um, yeah, ARKK does look pretty good here. On Thursday, it did gap down, but very strong close. And then Friday was just a consolidation day. But overall, it looks really good. And I'm um, definitely going to be bullish on growth stocks if 44.5 level can get taken out. Um, next up, we'll take a look at the best looking stocks for the upcoming week. So Firm looks really good here. 
had a very I mentioned this last week, but had a very nice uh, gap up on volume, a uh, really big bar here, and then a consolidation bar, and then it broke out, very strong breakout, and now it's consolidating here for like the last uh, four days, yeah, four days. But if it can take out that twenty twenty or twenty two point six level, there's a very good chance that the firm can make a move back up higher. Uh, let's take a look at the weekly chart. So very clear resistance here, right? And I broke that. Um, yeah, firm has room all the way up to. Let's see, it's not a clear resistance level for firm. I would say first target would be around that twenty six point seven five ish area. But overall, yeah, firm does look really good on the daily chart, consolidating very nicely here, and looks ready to make another leg up. And uh, yeah, very good action. Next up, we'll take a look at app um app has been trending really really nice all year long so the first gap up was here right on earnings formed the bull flag and then gapped up again and ended up breaking down but um it recovered formed a nice flag here broke out and then had an, another earnings gap up just recently uh, last month and uh, formed the flag here, broke out, formed the flag here, broke out, and now it's forming another flag here. And this is potentially another good entry here if it can take out that 42.5 level. But uh, yeah, app does look really good here. Next up, Dell. So Dell had a very strong earnings gap up. And uh, ever since then, it's just been consolidating very tightly. So this is really, really good action. Um, it looks ready to take off here forming a very nice flag. This is an A-plus setup. And on the weekly, you can see that it's at all-time high, so no overhead resistance. So overall, this is definitely a top watch. Very good action. Um, next up, ELF. So ELF is uh, another big winner, 2023. This one has been trending nicely all year long. Very nice action, $36 to 140 And uh, right now, it's forming a bull flag here. It actually broke out on uh thursday and on friday it formed the consolidation bar but if it can take out 138.15 it would be a good setup to go along but yeah elf does look very very good ilnq this is one of my favorite stocks this one's been acting incredibly well all year long this one is also one of the biggest winners 2023 very nice bull flag here set up here broke out very nice bull flag set up here broke out on monday and uh, Thursday gap down pretty hard, but very nice recovery on Friday and closing at its um, highs. So very good action on Friday. Um, but yeah, this looks very good. Very uh, clear resistance at that 20 level. So definitely sell some into strength if you still have some. But um, overall, this one's setting up really well. And I want to see some bull flag form here. So next couple of days, if bull flag can form here, that'd be very good action. But right now, there's no setup on it and uh, wouldn't be touching it right now um but yeah wait for a bull flag to form and some consolidation and this would be an a plus setup next up iot this one had a very strong earnings reaction um this was the earnings day reaction very strong gap up made uh, new highs here and now it's forming a pretty nice bull flag here so this is a, definitely a top watch here very strong stock and uh, yeah, it's been from eight dollars to thirty two dollars so very big gain this year as well this is definitely a top stock um but yeah very nice volume as well next up last but not least vrt uh this one also had a very strong earnings gap up and has been uh trending very nicely and it actually formed the bull flag here broke out on thursday and on friday it put it in a consolidation bar so if it can take out 39.7 um, this would definitely be a top uh, setup to watch for next week. And this one's also at all-time high, so uh, no overhead resistance. So, uh, yeah, overall, very good action. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys for this week. Thank you guys for tuning in.